Once upon a time, there was a wolf who spent all his time chasing pigs to eat. On Christmas Day, most wolves left the pigs alone so they could enjoy Christmas with their families without worrying about the wolf. But this wolf, Bata, kept hunting even on Christmas Day. I'm going to get some pig meat today. I'm going to huff and puff and blow a pig's house down. Oh no, there's the wolf. Why is he here on Christmas Day? I don't know, but run! All day, the wolf ran around the woods and huffed and puffed instead of enjoying Christmas. All the pigs were hiding from the big, bad wolf. I'm going to get to Pig before the night is finished. Let's run to Big Brother's brick house. We'll be safe there. Yes, let's go, run. All the pigs made it into brick houses, so eventually Batter gave up and headed home to sleep. But before he had even closed his eyes, a visitor arrived. Dada, Dada, what are you doing? Why are you chasing pigs on Christmas Day? What? Who are you? Don't you remember me? I, we used to play together when we were kids. Piggy Boy, is that really you? Yes, it is. What are you doing here? What happened to you? Oh, I was caught by a hunter. Now I'm a ghost. But the important question is what happened to you? You used to like pigs. We played together for hours and hours. Yes, but one day your family told you to stay away from me. My mom told me to stay away from you. She said pigs and wolves can never be friends. I didn't listen to my mom. I went to find you in the woods. I had to listen to my mom. She is very strong. I knew from that day on, my job was to hunt pigs, not to play with them. It's not too late to change your mind, Bad. Yes, it is. I'm a wolf, and I hunt pigs. That's my life. Go away now. Okay, I'll go, but you will be visited by another. Yeah, yeah. A few minutes later, while Bada was trying to get to sleep, another ghost floated into the room. I'm a wolf. I hunt pigs. Come with me. I will show you what your hunting has done. The pig of the present grabbed the wolf's tail and they flew together into the woods where the pigs were rebuilding their houses. These pigs are not eating a nice holiday dinner. Together. They're building straw and stick houses again. Well, they should have built stronger houses. Who built houses out of straw and stick? The pig is built houses out of straw and stick. It's not nice to build it down. But I'm a wolf. That's what I do. You don't have to. I will take you back home now. But soon the pig of the future will come and visit. The pig of the present delivered Bata back to his bed. Bata tried to fall asleep. But he kept thinking about what the pig of the purse had said. Did he really have to hunt pigs just because he was a wolf? Suddenly, he saw another pig in front of him. Hello there, Bata. Hello. Are you ready for a trip to the future? Do I have a choice? Um, well, not really. Let's go. The pig of the future brought Bata to a dark place in the forest. There were pigs huddled near a pile of straw. I remember when Christmas Day was a break from the wolf, when everyone just relaxed and enjoyed themselves. Yes, I remember it too. But I think some of the younger piglets don't remember it at all. You're right. For them, Christmas Day is no different than any other. We always have to be on the lookout for the big, bad wolf. Yes, let's get this straw house built and maybe we'll have time for a little fun. Do you ever think we should just build houses out of bricks? No, that would be too much work. Better look down on the pigs building their houses. 
That's kind of sad. Yes, wouldn't it be better not to huff and puff and blow their houses down? Well, if they built their houses out of brick, they would have been fine. That would be more helpful. Do you want to spend your whole life creating scenes like these? Maybe not, but what else can I do? I'm a wolf. I'm glad you asked. Let me take you to another place. They flew across the sky to another part of the forest. As they approached, they could hear laughter and singing. What is going on down there? This is the future that could be. If you leave the pigs alone, they'll have time to play the fiddle, dance, and enjoy themselves. Is that me dancing with them? Yes, it is. And is that me sharing their dinner? Yes, it is. Why aren't they scared? Because you stopped blowing their houses down. Can this really happen? It's completely up to you. Bata and the pig of the future flew back to Bata's home. Bata went to bed and was finally able to sleep. When he woke up in the morning, he didn't feel like hunting pigs. Instead, he went to visit. Oh no, the big bad wolf is coming! Run! No, no, don't run. I just want to play. I promise not to huff and puff and not to eat you. First, the pigs were suspicious, but by next Christmas, they trusted Bata and they all had a wonderful holiday together. Oh,